Hey everybody, Nick Licamelli here with Harry the Cat. Today we're talking about one of my favorite hip exercises. And it's an exercise that may not be always looked at as a hip exercise. But it's really a total body exercise that really does a great job of working the hips. Especially the hip abductors. And it's the loaded carry. Let's take a look at why this exercise is a great way to train the hips. The weakness in my hips is causing my knee pain when I squat because my hips aren't stabilizing my, my legs right. So three sets of 10 of these, right? Three sets of 10, right, okay. What do you mean, what color is the dress? It's blue and gold. Simple, quick fix for low back pain and knee pain. Seems legit. <laughs> Cats are so sneaky. Every time they throw food at that dog, he just can't catch it. Oh, donuts. <laughs> yes, that is the story of my life. Oh man, memes are great and so original. So first, it's important to understand the difference between an open chain and closed chain movement and also an isometric contraction. So what I'm showing here is closed chain knee extension. So my feet are planted on the ground, but you can see that my knee is going through extension as it straightens out right there. An open chain knee extension would be like I'm gonna show here when I come uh, down here and I kick out my leg straight, right? So you can see that the knee is still bending and straightening, but now my foot is off the ground. So the closed chain exercise the, the limb is moving and it's kind of moving my body as opposed to an open chain movement where the limb is free to move. So here is the same concept with the triceps and the elbow. So this is elbow flexion and extension in an open chain position. And this would be elbow flexion and extension in a closed chain position. The open chain, the limb is kind of free to move and the closed chain, the limb is moving my body. So onto the hips. This is an example of open chain hip abduction. You can see my leg is coming close to the midline and then it is moving away from the midline. And my limb is free to move. Up next is closed chain hip abduction. So my foot is planted and my body is moving. You can see that my leg is coming close to midline and then it is moving away from midline just like in the open chain exercise. That's important to remember because walking is basically a single leg stance followed by a single leg stance, followed by a single leg stance. So as we stand on one leg, we are performing closed chain hip abduction isometrically to prevent this hip drop movement right here. So this exercise is going to train the muscles of the hip as a whole, as opposed to something like a side-lying hip abduction straight leg raise. And when we walk, when we run, when we squat, the hip is functioning as a whole, right? The muscles of the hip are all working as a team to stabilize that hip. So like we've talked about before, the same thing could be said for rotator cuff uh, training. So these exercises like this here is an open chain isolation movement for part of the rotator cuff. However, the rotator cuff usually fires as a whole when we raise our arm, when we lift, when we push, when we pull. So if you want to train the rotator cuff as a whole, just like we do the loaded carry for the hip, we can do the loaded carry for the shoulder, or, and the rotator cuff is going to contract as a team to kind of stabilize that uh, humeral head in the socket. We can also do some weight-bearing exercises um, like these here to kind of get that rotator cuff firing as a whole. And again, these are um, on the floor here, this is a closed chain uh, exercise because again, my body is moving and the limbs are stationary. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want, and we'll see you next time.